Just Hockey is the largest supplier of hockey equipment in Australia. With a full range of sticks, pads, shoes and safety equipment, check out the website for the store nearest you, all the specials and the latest hockey news from around the world on Go Hockey News. Just Hockey. It's all hockey. Hi, welcome. This week we're going to look at uh, marking. Uh, we're going to look at a couple of different types of marking. Okay, We're going to look at uh, what I call a shallow triangle Okay, and making sure that we're in front in touch. Okay, today we've got Scott who's come down to join us. He's going to be the striker trying to get the ball off, uh, off his uh, teammate. We've also got Brad that's come down and he's going to act as the defender. We're going to position uh, Brad in a shallow triangle position where he can see both the ball and his opponent and hopefully make the intercept. Okay Brad, I just want you to position yourself here in a position where you can see Scott as the attacker and you've also got Aiden up there 40 yards away trying to make the pass. You need to be able to position yourself where you're still connected to Scott, not too far away. It's quite shallow that if you join the dots between Scott, myself, Aiden, okay, it forms that shallow triangle. If we go back further, okay, we become too deep. It's too easy for Scott to get the ball. So Brad, here we've got the shallow triangle. You're in a position where, nice and shallow, you can persuade the pass, but you can also step across and make the intercept. Okay, you do not want to be too deep. Back in this area, this angle, where Scotty can easily get the ball, and you're not going to be able to affect the play. Okay, so Husey, you're in a good position here, side on, all right? I think we're a little bit too deep though, so when the ball comes, you're going to struggle to get there. We're in a much better position now, we're a lot closer to Scotty, so that if the ball goes, you can make the intercept. Okay, Husey, you can see that I've brought you a lot closer now to your opponent, Scotty, and that's because Aiden's brought the ball a lot closer now, and he's only 25 yards away, where you have to be a lot closer. So you're still in front, you're still in touch, okay? You have a shallow triangle position, okay, you're able to still step in front and make the intercept. You can also persuade the pass going to Scotty as well. Okay, what we've done here, guys, is we've set up a marker, one, two, and three. They're roughly a metre apart. Okay, we're going to challenge you, Brad, to see how you go from the third marker to be able to get across and make the intercept. Okay, then from the second marker, and then from the first marker, and we'll find out what your range is. Because what I'm trying to get across here, Brad, is uh, it's the relationship between where you stand and where the ball's coming from. So the further the ball away, the further you can be away. The closer the ball, the closer you need to be. Okay, so Brad, you're about four metres away from Scotty here. Okay, I want to test you now and see if you can make it and get there when Scotty leaves. Okay, Brad, so we've established from the first one with eight and 20 metres away. From four metres away, you couldn't quite get there. So we've brought you back a metre. Okay, a metre closer to Scott. Okay, but also a metre back closer this direction. Okay, let's see how you go this time. Yeah, it's good, Husey. You can see from the, the second dot, you can get your stick in there and you can make the interception, but you can only knock the ball away. So what we're gonna do is bring you back another cone, another metre. Okay, this time we wanna see if you can get across. Okay, and actually make the intercept, trap the ball, carry it away. Yeah, that's better, Husey. Good intercept. Okay, so Brad, now we've thrown Aiden back 40 metres. Okay, and we're going to test you now to see if you can make the intercept from back out on the four metre mark. Okay, so the, what we're trying to get across is that the further away the ball is, okay, the greater distance you can get between the man that you're marking. And technically, Brad, you're still close enough to the man to be able to make the intercept. Okay, so Brad, the position I'm looking for is not like you're getting ready to start a race here and there. Be a bit more balanced, okay, position yourself so that your head, okay, rubber band so you can look at the man, looking at the ball, Okay, knees bent, you're on your toes, ready to go, so that when he goes, you can go. Okay, Brad, taking this into a match situation now, okay, where we haven't been so static, okay, there's a couple of key things that I want you to focus on. And one thing is not getting caught watching Scott and not looking at where the ball is up there, but making sure that you always position yourself side on, okay, so you can see Scott, you can look around the ball. Keep moving with Scott, as he goes, you move with him. Okay, when he makes that sharp lead, that's your, that's your cue to go. That's good, Husey, you've persuaded the pass, mate. Just be careful you don't get caught looking at Boydie too much there, Husey. Good, Husey, that's it. Now go, good. That's okay, it's a good contest, it's a tough receive for the opponent. Eye on the ball here, Brad. Less, less eye on Scotty, good, that's better. Okay, good positioning. Yeah, much better, well done. Okay, so to summarise today with our marking, we want to mark from in front in a shallow triangle position, in a side-on position where we can see both the ball and our immediate opponent. Uh, and we're also governed uh, purely by how far away the ball is from uh, the guy making the pass or the guy receiving the pass.
Just Hockey is the largest supplier of hockey equipment in Australia. With a full range of sticks, pads, shoes and safety equipment, check out the website for the store nearest you, all the specials and the latest hockey news from around the world on Go Hockey News. Just Hockey. It's all hockey.